one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. What's up, dads? It's Josh, welcome to Best Dressed Dad. Yes, that was most definitely a mic test. Guys, this is seriously the third time I'm recording this video. Uh, first time, the mic was not on at all, so I had zero sound. Second time, I tried to record the battery died in my microphone while I was recording. So about halfway through, I lost all my audio. So third time's the charm, right? Hopefully this time will work. I'm just gonna record this video quickly here in the morning before I head off to a meeting. So uh, yeah, let's go for it. Now, if you're new around here, this YouTube channel is all for us as fathers who either wanna start dressing better or keep dressing our best. That's something I say all the time, and it does imply that there's a bit of a journey that can take place. It's a bit of a process to go from somebody who just doesn't dress well at all, or maybe just inconsistently dresses well, to someone who is the best dressed dad they can possibly be. And I'm very much so on this journey myself, but what I've found is that there are three people that have been a tremendous help to me in my own style journey. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you the three people that all stylish dads should know and should know well. Before we get into the list, if you haven't done so already, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you find this kind of content interesting, give me a big thumbs up. And if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them down below. All right, let's get into it. The first person that all stylish dads should know is a barber. If you've been watching my YouTube channel or following my blog for any length of time, you've heard me say before that the two things that can make or break your appearance are your shoes and your hair. Now for the purposes of this video, we're just gonna talk about hair, obviously, but knowing a good barber is a great way to get consistently good haircuts. And I hope you're catching this. I am definitely using the term barber on purpose. That's intentional. Um, I definitely think you need to be seeing a barber uh, because if you look at the definition of what a barber actually is, it's someone who cuts men's hair for a living, not someone who cuts women's hair predominantly and gives a men's haircut once or twice a week, but rather a person who consistently cuts men's hair. To take it a step further, just to make sure we're all on the same page, if you're getting your hair cut by the same person that cuts your wife's hair, that's not a great idea. I'm not saying that person is incompetent, but at best, you're gonna get inconsistent haircuts. It makes perfect sense. Think of this analogy. You don't take your car to a motorcycle repair shop to get it fixed, right? No, that person, that mechanic who fixes motorcycles is much better at repairing motorcycles than automobiles. So you take your car to an auto mechanic. I think the same principle can apply for barbering. Don't go to a women's hair salon, go to a men's barber shop to get your hair cut. So the first person you should know is a great barber. The second person you should know is a good tailor. I preach fit on this channel pretty consistently. Uh, just last week, I'll link to it above, but the last video I did was five style tips for dads. The very first one was focus on the fit. And a tailor is the best person you can know to consistently nail the fit when it comes to your clothes. Now, I'll be 100% honest with you, the whole concept of tailoring and regular trips to the tailor to get my clothes altered is relatively new to me, probably within the last couple of years. Now, I'm about 6'4", 190 pounds, so uh, if any of the rest of you out there have a somewhat abnormal body shape, you'll understand this, the struggles that I went through trying to find clothes that fit me correctly right off the rack. So dress shirts, for example, I was very rarely ever able to find a dress shirt that had sleeves that were long enough. Um, so what would happen is I would finally find a shirt that had sleeves long enough, but it would be way too baggy in the midsection. So what I'd be doing is tucking the shirt, maybe you guys have done this, you're kind of pulling the shirt tight, trying to tuck it in the back. It's just a mess if you would ever see me from behind. However, when I started going to a tailor consistently and he was able to alter my clothes to fit my exact body type, it makes such a huge difference. The biggest difference I've seen, and this may sound a little cliche, but it's honestly confidence. When you know your clothes fit you correctly and you're not worried about, oh man, is my shirt tucked in tight enough in the back or all that stuff that I was telling you about or my sleeves long enough, we're not worried about that when you know it fits right. It really does give you a tremendous amount of confidence. So as I said, the second person you should know is a great tailor. And the third person all stylish dads should know is a stylish friend. Think about it, your mom taught you from a very early age that you should choose your friends wisely because they will eventually start to rub off on you. 
Now, she was probably referring to the negative consequences of hanging out with bad friends, but I think there's positive consequences for hanging out with good friends, uh, especially a stylish friend. Having a friend that is either in the same place you're in on your style journey, or preferably even a few steps further down the road, is really gonna come in big when it comes to elevating your own personal style. Okay, so hang in there with me, as this may sound a little strange as I'm trying to verbalize it, but uh, I actually talk to my other friends that I consider stylish, talk to them about fashion, talk to them about style, um, ask them where they found certain items. I've got some friends that are a similar build to me, so we have the same struggle, can't find clothes that fit us correctly off the rack, so when we do, we let each other know. Now, if unfortunately you do not have another stylish friend in your life, a good alternative is to use the internet as a resource. Hopefully you find my channel and my content helpful. Keep coming back here. Um, I'll link up above also to an article I wrote that uh, includes my top five men's fashion YouTube channels and blogs, which just contain a lot of great information and would be a good alternative if you don't have any stylish friends in your life. All right, dads, that is it for this week's video. Thanks, as always, for watching. Now, what I'm gonna do is link down to an article I wrote on my blog. I really, really suggest that you check that out because it's gonna go into much more information than I was able to cover here in the video. Uh, things like how to pick your barber and your tailor, questions to ask them to make sure you get great haircuts and great fitting clothes. So please make sure you check that out. If you know another dad who could use some style tips and some fashion advice, make sure you share this video with them. And until I see you next time, love your kids and love your clothes.